Everybody knows that you can't beat the casino, even a little baby. You heard that millions of times. But why do people come back to the casino? Today we will explain in detail why you can't win and how casinos bring you in and make you stay. In simple terms, I will show you the whole business of gambling. This video will be structured in two segments, physical casinos and online casinos. We will discover the secret that makes them so successful. At the end, we will see dark stuff that affects you even if you never entered a casino in your life. There are over 5,000 casinos worldwide, and this number represents just the casino companies, not casino buildings. So there are a few million casino buildings on the planet, and they are constantly building new ones. The statistics lie. This can be possible. Casinos lose money because people win money. See this guy won a few thousand dollars, that person won million dollars, and now he enjoys his life never having to worry about money again. That can be you, you can be that person, but casinos know that you are not stupid. They know that you know that the probability of you being that guy is 0%, so they are selling you the experience. When you go to a casino, you will most likely be awarded with free drinks. Wherever you lose or win money, they will bring you more free drinks to keep you gambling. And then if you lose a lot of money and are in an extreme rage, they will give you a free meal to calm you down. After that, they will give you free accommodation, and that will give you a perspective that the casino likes you, that they care about you. But the truth is, they just want to make you stay to lose more money. Even if you are strong-willed and want to get out, the casinos are designed that the exits are hard to find. To make you stay, they delete the concept of time. There are no clocks or windows in the casino, so you have no idea what time it is. They also pump the room with oxygen to keep you awake. The constant sounds of slot machines and lights will make sure that you don't get tired and lose more money. If you lose a lot of money, you will be labeled as an VIP, which stands for very important person, and you will get extra services from the casino. If you win a lot, you will be labeled as a problem customer, and most likely they will kick you out or ban you. But being labeled as a problem customer is really hard because it's impossible to win. Let's say you want to win at roulette. You have black numbers, red numbers, and green zero. If you bet it on black and the ball lands on black, you doubled your money. If it lands on red or green zero, you lost money. There are two types of roulette. Roulettes with one zero and roulettes with two zeros. The casino has edge of 5.26% on the roulette with two zeros. That would mean for every $1 million that is betted on the roulette, the casino would win $50,000. In simple terms, if your budget is $250 and you put 50 spins, by theory, you would lose $12.5. If you take 200 spins and your budget is $1,000, you would lose $50. But this is just in theory, you can lose 50 spins in a row and get nothing. If you look at slot machines, the situation is even worse. The casino's edge is 17%. They are driven by the strategy near miss, which means only one or two items are missing on the screen that stops you from winning big. And your dopamine activates and you are thinking that it will come, but it never comes. Okay, but what about the games where you play against the casino, like blackjack and poker? Blackjack has an edge of 0.5%, but that's only if you use a good strategy. If you don't use any strategy, the edge could be more than 8%. Even if you use a good strategy, you are counting cards, for example. They will ban you. So you can't beat the casino with blackjack. Poker, on the other hand, is different. You don't play against the house. You play against real people. So the casino has zero profits from that. They can't take your money. Wrong. They usually make you buy a seat or take a percentage of the total pot. Usually they take 5-20% to of the pot. Let's say that the pot is $50,000 and the casino takes 10%. That's $5,000. If there's 10 tables like that, the casino just earned $50,000. Now what if you want to start your own casino? How much would it cost you? Let's say you want a small one. You need to get licenses, the machines, stuff. You need to constantly invest in marketing because there are tons of casinos who offer the same service. And at the end, the location. Depending where it is, if you combine total cost of all things mentioned, the total could be more than $5 million just to open a small casino. So it's really expensive to open a physical casino. 
What about online casino? The main problem of starting casino businesses, wherever is it physical or online, is the licenses. If you want a fast option where you would wait one year, you need to pay $500,000. So including stuff, setup, and most importantly marketing, you need to invest tons in marketing because everybody has the same product. If you combine all the costs, the total would be a few million dollars just to open an online casino. But the real advantage of online casinos is the scalability. You can't scale a small physical casino, but you can scale an online casino. Everybody in the world can play it. Currently, the two biggest online casinos are Stake and Rubet, both crypto casinos, which means you need to buy crypto so that you can gamble there. And everybody can buy crypto. The house edge in online casinos is not confirmed yet. This is a relatively growing industry. It is expected that the industry will be worth $157 billion in 2030. Stake sponsors Formula One and a lot of celebrities like Drake and some YouTubers. Stake makes tons of money. They opened their own streaming service, Kick, where gambling is allowed. On other streaming platforms, gambling isn't allowed. Online casinos pay these influencers with affiliate links. The influencer promotes gambling on his stream and wins big. This triggers the audience that they could do that. And when they register through his link, the influencer takes a percentage of the losses of the person who registered throughout his link. It was leaked that streamer Aiden Ross was paid $995,000 a week from state. Online casinos stay relevant because of these influencers. They also lure you with amazing deals. Better than cash? If you hit the loss streak, Wild Casino will send you a 10% rebate on any casino game loss between Monday and Thursday. That's an insane deal. I personally think that the government will start to regulate the online casinos because of crime. Crime is a big factor in both casinos. Gambling is used to launder money. Millions of dollars every year. The casinos work with cities. They tell the government that they will pay more tax. But there is more damage than good. Firstly, living near a casino decreases your property value by 15%. And more importantly, they create more gamblers. But casinos support more than 2 million jobs, and the industry paid over $50 billion in taxes in 2017. Also, they have huge margins. MGM in Las Vegas makes more money than some small countries. To maximize their profit, people need to lose more and more money. My personal opinion on casinos is that they are not bad if you go in there in a healthy way. Let me explain. They can be a fun experience if you go with your friends. I go sometimes to casinos. I put like 5 or 10 euros, money that I can afford to lose. But if you lose tons of money, go every day and you have nothing to eat because you spend it all in the casino, you have a problem. Also one tip, if you want to win at casinos, pretend that you are angry. You will get a free drink or free meal. Remember, house always wins in the long term. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, check out our channel. On this video, we didn't cover sports betting, which is another way of gambling. If you want us to do it, write a comment and subscribe.